We want to work very closely with this equation for exponential growth and decay, y equals y naught e to the kt. So first let's take a look at it. Let's start with y. y is the amount at time t. Amount of what? Well, it can be anything. Anything that's growing or decaying exponentially. So it could be money, it could be population, it could be the amount of drugs in one system. All these things are exponential growth or decay, radiation, etc. Y naught, or Y sub zero, is the initial amount. Instead of saying Y zero all the time, we say Y naught. That's N-A-U-G-H-T. And it always means the initial amount of something. So V naught could be the initial speed. A naught could be the initial acceleration. Y naught is the initial amount of something. So we'll say the initial amount for that. Well, E is just the number E. K is the rate constant. And it's greater than zero for growth and less than zero for decay. And finally, t is time. So what we'll do next is steal some of the thunder from calc two and derive this equation from a differential equation. So let's start with the differential equation. y prime of t equals k times y of t. So let's see what this tells us. y prime of t is the rate of change for y of t. So, Imagine k is greater than zero, then y of t becomes bigger, then it changes even faster. It changes faster, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, but the bigger it gets, the faster it changes. The faster it changes, the bigger it gets, and you can see how this spirals out of control, which is exactly what exponential growth does. So this is the derivative version of exponential growth. The bigger it gets, the faster it changes, the faster it changes, the bigger it gets, the faster it changes, and so on and so on. We use this to derive our equation for exponential growth and decay. Here's how to do that. y prime of t is technically dy dt, okay, equals ky. I'll just leave the of t out of here. Well, this is something called a separable differential equation. You can think more about that in Calc 2. I just want to solve this thing. So let's get all the y's on one side. So we have dy over y equals k dt. All right, and then we integrate up on both sides. One other thing here, let's, let's assume that y is greater than zero um, because it's, it's some amount of something. So we'll say it's, it's either getting bigger or smaller, but one way or the other, it's, it's never going to be zero. So then when we go to do this left side, we get natural log of y, and we don't need the absolute value, equals kt plus c. Now you may be asking, well, shouldn't both sides get a C? Well, yeah, technically I put this C on both sides, but then I combine them into a single C on the right-hand side. So since they're just constants, we can subtract one from the other and just have ourselves a single constant here. Okay, well, this is progress. Now let's just sign, solve this thing for Y. So doing that gives, we'll take both sides base E, essentially. So we have E here and E here. So that gives us Y the e and the natural log undo each other, equals e to the kt plus c. Well, I can rewrite this right-hand side a little bit as e to the c times e to the kt, which I will again write as c e to the kt, because you can combine constants into a single constant, and we just keep calling it c, because it's basically a dummy variable. We just keep lumping all the constants into that c again and again and again, and it just always stays c. So there we go, we have y equals c e to the kt. But we have an initial condition. y of zero, y at time zero equals, well, we don't know what it is, but it's some y naught. So plugging those two values in here, we have y naught goes in for y, zero goes in for, for time. Um, that gives us, go over here to the left hand side with it, y naught equals c e to the zero which is just c, so then c must equal y naught, which gives us our final equation, y equals y naught e to the kt. And voila, we have derived the equation for exponential growth or decay.